I'm going to be reading from John 19, verses 26 to 27. When Jesus saw his mother there, and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, Woman, here is your son, and to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. Jesus' simple words to his mother, his mother Mary and his disciple John show how much he really does love everyone despite his pain on the cross and during his crucifixion. The book of John is the gospel that focuses most on Jesus' divine nature. John 1 begins with, In the beginning was the Word, the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And John 3 contains John 3.16, the For God so loved the world verse, and how Christ came down to the earth as God's Son to die for our sins. So when John mentions Mary, Jesus' mother, in the middle of his crucifixion, it may seem out of place to introduce her now when most of us are used to the Christmas story. But John turns the emphasis on Jesus' response to her coming, rather than the circumstance. When Jesus sees Mary and, his, and John, his beloved disciple, he tells his mother, Here is your son, and to the disciple, here is your mother. Despite suffering excruciating pain, Jesus humbled himself to consider his mother's needs. As God, Jesus always knew he wouldn't stay dead. We also knew he wouldn't physically stay on earth either. And due to their roles in Jewish society, women had to rely on men for their well-being. So Jesus chose John to care for his mother and to treat her as he would his own mother. Even though Jesus had other brothers to care for his mother, he put the dis he put the responsibility on John, his beloved disciple, to do so. That demonstration of trust shows us as Christians how we should serve others, that even when we suffer, to love each other and to defend the vulnerable. Christ calls us to humble ourselves and look toward the benefit of those around us, even in the middle of our pain. If God himself can look at his creations while on the cross and only speak love and hope, what excuse do we have to not show his grace to others? But this also gives us encouragement. If he could suffer through this and still look to others, we can still look for hope because this is not the end.